When you purchase SBI Valve Train components, that blue and yellow box represents 40 years of industry knowledge, R&D, quality that exceeds OEM standards, and outstanding customer service, as well as a dedicated team, ready to help no matter your application needs. That's how SBI keeps engines humming. Jeff Alenko Diesel Performance for another Tech Tip Tuesday video. Uh, this week I wanted to talk about uh, girdles and the use of girdles, uh, primarily on diesel engines, but any engine, and talk about one important clearance to check that a lot of people don't think about, uh, and that is the clearance between the girdle and the pan rail of the block. Uh, so basically, between the girdle and the block, you have to have clearance. A thousandth is enough, but you have to have clearance for several reasons. Uh, one reason is if the girdle would contact the pan rail or any part of the block besides the cap before it contacts the cap, you're, you're going to lose your uh, pressure on the cap and you could have bearing fret, the cap walk, spin bearings, big problems. It would defeat the, defeat the purpose of using a girdle if you're not getting the full clamp load on top of the cap and having a gap between the girdle and the oil pan rail of your block. Uh, another common uh, thing is you upgrade your fasteners, you go to a girdle, there's distortion in the caps and you have to line hone the engine. You hear that uh, anytime girdle comes up, line hone comes up. It's check the main housing board and line hone if necessary. The only way to line hone properly and keep your main housing board within spec to avoid bearing fret on your main bearings or uh, spinner to bearing, you have to grind the main caps. So you use a, a bearing cap grinder, you grind the bottom of the cap where the cap contacts the block. One to three thousandths is all you need, but you have to grind it to undersize it to give you uh, a smaller diameter so that you can remove the material from the main housing board to put it back within spec and true it up. Because that's the whole, the whole, uh, whole purpose of line honing is to true it up to make sure it's round and from the front to back they're all straight and on the same plane. So if you just go in and line hone without grinding the caps, you're going to oversize it and you're losing your bearing crush and you're going to have bearing fret and potentially spin a bearing. So if you don't have adequate clearance between the girdle and the pan rail, and then you do have to grind the caps, say two thousandths, you're, you're losing your down force, your pressure on the cap. So that's another reason why it's important. So we like to see at least three thousandths uh, minimum. Um, if it's an engine that's already, we know that the housing board is good, then one or two thousandths is fine, but it's a very important uh, clearance check. So I want to show you, I got a two thousandths feeler gauge, that's what I always use, and you can tell if it's tight or loose. So uh, one thousandths, two thousandths, three thousandths, but you need a feeler gauge. Uh, and just get it in here and go between the girdle and the pan rail and slide it in there, okay? Now this one here I can feel is hardly any drag. Uh, this thing's fine. But not only do you need to check out here on the pan rail, but especially on a Cummins where you've got your factory stiffener, um, you have to make sure that you still have the clearance all the way in to the, the furthest inboard point. So like for instance here, we're gonna slide the filler gauge all the way through and you see it passing through the hole. So we know there's no interference fit between the girdle and the block all the way in, okay? So it's very important. And you can take this filler gauge and work it up and down work it all the way around the block. And you, every now and then you might hit a little bar or something, but just make sure that just like here, all the way across, no problem. So same right there. And that's loose as a goose right there. So we've got plenty. Now you can tell this engine has been assembled and ran before. We were taking this thing apart for a piston issue, doing a failure analysis, checked everything over. Um, and on this one here, we, it, our, we put some RTV alongside the O-ring um, for additional sealing and I actually used a micrometer, measured the thickness of the RTV, and I had about three to three and a half thousandths. So that coincides with what I'm checking here. Uh, you could use plastic gauge, would work. I'm not a big fan of plastic gauge, but this would be an application where it would work. So you can use plastic gauge too if you don't have a feeler gauge set that goes down that small, throw some plastic gauge in there, that will work. So uh, we've got a Duramax over here on the stand getting ready to go together. Uh, this has a Waggler steel girdle, uh, it also has steel caps, so I figured show it on that too. Same thing, uh, make sure it fits. You know, we got the 2000 sphere gauge. I can slide it all the way back and forth. Every now and then you get a spot that's a little tight, but overall, you know, it's fine. We know there's no interference. You see right here, it fits all the way through. So no problems there. 
Um, and so with, with the steel cap, a full height steel cap like this, we're going there line borne, so we don't have to worry about the issue of grinding the cap unless you messed up and had to go in and grind them, you don't have to worry about that. But with factory caps, uh, it's definitely common to have to grind the cap, or in some cases, the uh, bottom of the cap or the top, as we'd be viewing it here, will have some damage from factory bolts or something that passed with studs, and somebody might surface grind the cap there to get it flat, and that is definitely gonna affect that clearance. So, very important. And then something else is checking with the covers. If you have doweled covers, like the front rear of Duramax or the front gear housing on a Cummins, you gotta check that same uh, clearance with the cover. So I'm gonna slide this cover onto the dowels, and we're gonna check that real quick. So I'm on the dowels, hold it in place, and we're gonna check that real quick. So come in here, passes all the way through. There we are on our front cover or gear housing, no problem all the way through. Hit a little burr right there, but same over here, no problem. That's probably got about three, four thousandths there. So very important to check that too, because otherwise you torque down on this and that could hold it up. So wanna run through that. Uh, we might do a video getting any more in depth into this, but uh, just again, it's very important to check. Uh, it could lead to some major problems and putting that girdle on could actually cause more problems than you're fixing. So make sure you check it. Thank you.